just hanging on the ridge. Pop. Boom, here we are at the Flying Can Ranch, Cedar Creek Lake, Texas. A little windy out today. <coughs> I want to go over something that uh, another, I said I wouldn't, but in this case I did because I, I got some information. So, let's go to specs. We'll go over the gun, put my glasses on. We're going to talk about the wonderful <coughs> Humorex Steel Strike Full Auto, six round burst, whatever, BB gun. And it's very important we talk about these BBs. So, we're running a uh, <coughs> semi-auto to auto. It's a 177 caliber. You're supposed to put steel BBs. I'm going to repeat that. Steel BBs. Do not use copper BBs in these. They will gum it up. And that may have what did me in before, and I'll explain all that. Uh, it's a manual safety. It runs a smoothbore barrel. <coughs> you can go 26 to 28 inches in length with adjustable stock. That it's uh, dangerous distance is 325 yards. The reservoir capacity is 900 rounds. The magazine capacity is 30 rounds. And you use two 12 gram CO2s. And the velocity is 400 feet per second. So what do we got? What do we got? Well, I'll go this way with it. I'll show it to you as it came in a box, so to speak. Ooh, there it is. Down the line, down this side. And we'll close up here. You'll see that you have a little switch right here. And that's safe as you go one click over. Where am I here? Let me get my bearings here. I'm, okay, yeah. And you go to the red one up there. That's fire, one single shot mode. And then when you go to the next red all the way over is the full auto, which is six round burst. Six or eight round burst, something like that. We'll bring that back. Now, you also have these little flip-up sights that you can use. And I've already put my infamous white dot on this front one so I can find it. You have rails all over this bottom, sides, top. <coughs> put anything you want on it. And there's the nose end of it. Here I kind of wipe that in to the airplane. Have a flip it around. And you have a adjustable stock, which serves another purpose. And we'll go down this side, and this will be your mag release right here that you can hit pull the mag out. Nice little pistol grip, and this will be your charging handle right here. So you have to pull that charging handle before you get shooting. So uh, to show you something. <coughs> this is a little different before I went to like about let me get rid of these about four of those steel force type um, it was a rifle type and the big difference was is that the CO2s both fit into the the magazine chamber and the actual magazine was on this side and you poured a bunch of BBs in a hopper and you could pull the spring back and you rocked it back and forth until this would fill up with the BBs it's slightly different we'll get to that in this case, when you got this back, there's a little button right here on this side of the gun. Oops. And you press in on the stock, and you just take the stock off. You're going to get one of these with the gun. Nice silver key. And this is just kind of, eh, I can do it with my fingers. Get out of here. Um, let me reach in my pocket here real quick, whichever one I, I don't think I have another dummy up here. Uh, whichever pocket I threw them in. Um, I bought some CO2s with me to demonstrate, and I threw them in my pocket. And now they have found their way to the bottom of the pocket, probably, most likely. Well, butter me. I guess they're not in that pocket, and they dang sure don't feel like they're in this pocket, but well. All right. We'll show you. <coughs> Real simple. I'll use an empty. One CO2 will go, oops, get the cap off. We'll go nose first, put a little oil on each one. It goes in this way. 
the other CO2 goes just the opposite, facing this direction. So you want the, the narrow part of the CO2 to go in this way, and you want the larger part of the CO2 to go in this way. You put your little cap back on, and then you take your little wrench, and you tighten until you hear it pierce both CO2s. So, you know, listen, it's not an over tight thing, but you'll hear them both go. So that's the part where you put the CO2s in. And while I'm here, I'll just go ahead and get rid of these because I'm going to load this up in a little while. I've got something I've got to take care of, but I wanted to get this video uploaded. And of course, you'll put that on, tighten it up, and then you'll push a little button, and then you'll uh, put your stock back on. That's that part of it. Now, the next part is you're going to push your release button. Gun's on safe. Nothing in it, but nonetheless. Here's your magazine. Now, <coughs> this is where it differs from the other one. At the very top is a little piece here, and you just hook it with your finger and open that up. That's your fill port or your fill hopper or whatever you want to call it. And this is the part where things get tricky. You just pour your BBs into that like so. And like I said, it tells you, I just told you how many it held. And you pour, and you pour, and you pour, and you pour. Oh, that's pretty cool. Take those down, shut that up nice and tight. And then you have what's called a magazine follower. Now, the first one these I bought, this is broken. You kind of break that out, bring it out. This is the best way I made it work, is to rock it. Bring it all the way back, rock it again all the way upside down, bring it up. Rock it all the way down, bring it up, rock it all the way down, push your follow in, and there it went. Gets it back in place, and then you can put it back in the gun. I like to give it a real good click, pull on it, and you are good to go. After that, all you have to do is pull all the way back on your charging handle and let it go. So a little charging handle come all the way back, and you do your thing. And you should be ready to go. So, there you are. The Umex Steel Strike. Now, like I said, I had the steel, I believe it was called the Force, and I went through like four of them. And I finally got with uh, 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 Umex or Pyramid Air or somebody, or I don't remember. And they went ahead and swapped me out for a, um, I believe it was a Morph. I think that's what I did that on. Because the other one kept messing up. It would jam and you'd have to hit the side receiver and it weren't and hit the side. Actually, I didn't even have the figure on the trigger. The thing went off and like to hit my dog and missed him by about a quarter of an inch. But that could have been the result that, you know, I maybe ran some copper through it. You know, later on I, I started putting those black diamonds in there, but you know, I done chewed up like four of them. Really had bad reviews. Some of these have bad reviews. I tried this last night. Uh, unfortunately, it was very hard to see my little sight in there, that little blade sight. And I would like to put a red dot on here. And then all you got to do is fold your sights down. You don't have to take them off. You can fold them on or put a nice little red dot on top. Probably be a better way to fly. Um, personally, and I'll do a shooting video as soon as I get done with this other mission I have today. I found this a little, a little hard to get tracked with. You know, on the target, I was aiming to take the box right down here. And of course, it was low light. I'll try it later on, just with the sights. Later on, I might do a review after I put a red dot on it. But, you may steel strike. Um, <coughs> when my steel force worked, it was fun. It really was. It was a blast. Okay, but, unfortunately, it just didn't work very long. So, I'm going to give this one a shot, because they claim, this is the information it got, I claim that they uh, upgraded the valve body in these. I read somewhere that if you take one apart, uh, it's a sealed valve body. You couldn't really work on them or do anything to them. I don't know if this one's a sealed valve body or not. But get some soda cans in this thing here, and I'm talking about full soda cans. Unfortunately, it's not getting it real warm today, but we might get it a try later on. But just an uh, interesting thing. Get it together. I mean, it fits good in the hand. It feels good. I just think that if you had like a, a cheapy red dot on there, 
You know, you put in front of a little lazy red shot. This is a precision shooter. It's definitely not a hunting gun. It's not a pest control gun. It's just clinking, having fun, having a blast with it. Later on, after I upload this, we'll put together a shooting video. <coughs> I might have my friend come over. Hold on. <coughs> and uh, let her do a few runs. I might let her actually do the shooting part of the shooting video. Oh, yeah, I did get my hair cut. So I look at... Okay, I got past that. No, I didn't. Uh, at any rate, that's how we do it at the Flying Can Ranch. We're going to put one together for you. Boom! Catch you later.